I need to pull some of this uh, fiber optic cable through some uh, conduit I've already installed in the house. I'll put together another video on that. But uh, this stuff is, is sensitive. It doesn't like to be bent and pulled. Uh, not a lot of pressure. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. And it doesn't like to be uh, pulled off center so you can't just take your usual string like this and pull it on here because it, it does pull it. It puts too much stress down here. It will pull it off the side. Even if you tape it, you'll end up with a barb here and you'll end up uh, again pulling it off center. You can see all the pressure will cause it to try to, to arc. And just, just not good. So I need to make a, uh, a puller for this. And the puller will also work for other things like the uh, RJ cables for Ethernet. But uh, yeah, we need uh, something that will do a, a nice, smooth, even pull around here. And you can make one of these things at home, very cheap. So let's go do that. And what I found is this stuff. Uh, I'll show you where this comes from, but this is the outside jacket for a uh, those water tubes, flexible water tubes, like under your sink or that go to your toilet or something. And when they go bad, I save the outside. This one is uh, stainless. And when you push on it, it gets fatter. And when you pull on it, it gets skinnier. So the concept is I will put it over the connector like this and push it down on there and pull it tight and then wrap some uh, black tape around there, some electrical tape. And when I pull, it will put a nice even pull on this connector and pull the uh, fiber. So you see this stuff I have. It's uh, just this outer layer of these water faucet whatever connectors. And that's it. When they go bad, I save the outer casing. They come in both aluminum and stainless. And the stainless is good. The aluminum, eh. But uh, in this case, I got this one. Uh, this is the stainless one. The other things uh, we're going to need is a uh, washer. And a washer should be just about the right size to uh, go in that hole. Not much bigger. And certainly not much smaller. So about that size. A uh, piece of copper wire to make our pull loop out of and you could also use just heavy string and uh, some tape. If you want to make this permanent you probably want some epoxy. I'll show you that in a bit. So what I've done is I've taken my washer and I put my copper wire through there and I bent the wires over so that when this pulls against them there's no way it'll come through there. In fact by the time you put that much pressure on there it would ruin the it would ruin the fiber cable. So no point in making this thing super strong. It uh, only has to be strong enough up to the point where you will damage the fiber. Okay, and he could of course use a, just a, a heavy string and put it through there and tie a knot in it and it would do the same thing. But Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in here, press it back in here like this, and pull this taut. I'm going to clean this up a bit. Pull it taut, wrap some tape around it, and that will suffice. Uh, if I want to go nuts and make this permanent, I can uh, pull it taut and use epoxy and make that into a bullet shape, if you will, a cone shape, and leave the loop sticking out. And this is where I'll put my drawstring, my pull string, and then back here I'll feed in the, uh, the uh, fiber cable connector and also do something similar. And I'll only need about uh, 15 centimeters or about 6 inches of this, of this uh, flexible tubing. So here it is in there. And again, I'll pull this up tight and put my tape on there. And again, I can use epoxy. i put my string in there. And then I cut it off on this end, as so you can see. And the cable connector will go in there. The fiber connector will go in there. And again, I will stretch it and tape it off. And that's pretty much it. But uh, let me go do this taping and I'll show you that. So here we are all done. Here's the loop, the tape job, the washers underneath there. You saw that earlier. The uh, flex tubing and that's where I will insert the, the end for the uh, fiber optic cable. And again, uh, press it in there and then tape it just like I did on this end to hold the cable in place and pull it. And yeah, it'll take a lot more stress than the, than the fiber optic tape cable. Uh, can handle. So that's it. Well, I hope you found it useful and interesting.